What's up everyone? Welcome to Target Focus Life. Today, we're getting down and dirty because we're cleaning, not just cleaning, deep cleaning a gas shotgun. I'm gonna go through my techniques, the products that I use, and how you can quickly and effectively deep clean your gas shotgun. You ready? Let's go. So of course, the first thing we gotta do is break down the shotgun. Plain and simple, I'm not gonna be talking too heavily about that forend cap off, forend off. Ooh, I like to set that aside. Barrel and piston off. There we go, quite a few pieces on a gas shotgun. Now, as I go through this video, I'm gonna be talking about products that I use. I wanna give you a heads up that I am partnered with Otis and Shooter's Choice. They are a proud partner and sponsor of the channel. I've been using their products for a long time. They're the products I've been using and that I'm gonna recommend, but you can use whatever works for you. This process will be good, kinda of no matter what brand you're using, but there are a few products that I would not wanna go without that come from Otis and Shooter's Choice, and I'll highlight those as we go throughout the video. So we got the barrel, and all the gas portion off the gun. Now we need to take the trigger group and bolt out. Pretty easy, pop that off. Most gas shotguns are gonna be similar. Today we're taking apart a Mossberg 940 Pro. One thing to point out on the 940 Pro is there's some pins in the bolt that are encaptured uh, by the bolt, so you gotta be careful throwing this thing around or you might lose some pins. I've already messed this video up, folks. Because the number one thing that I like to do, other than checking my gun being unloaded and safe, is put on some gloves. This job is a messy job, and I don't like my hands smelling like gun cleaner and having carbon all over them all day long. You ready? So there's two pins in the Mossberg 940 Pro. Some guns will have one pin, but either way, to get the trigger group out, which I always highly recommend taking the trigger group out so we can access the chamber so we can get the trigger group nice and clean. Otis just came out with these, this punch set. And so this is the first time I've actually used it, to be honest, which I'm pretty excited about. It's nice to have some nice punches. I just propped my gun up. This is something I just started doing. I've done it the hard way before, but just propping my gun up on a couple pieces of wood so I can easily punch the pins through. If you don't do this, you're pushing the pins into your desk or your your tabletop, whatever you're cleaning on. So we got two pins, we're gonna set those aside. Trigger groups out, nice and easy. Look at that, we're apart. This is as far as we're gonna take it down for a deep clean. The only thing we could do that would be significantly deeper than this is to take off the butt pad and spacers and get to that recoil spring that runs along in the stock. That really doesn't need to be cleaned all that often if Ever. I've had to have, do that on a few guns, especially the ones that I dumped the dust from the vacuum in, if you saw that video. Oh no, oh that's disgusting. Yeah, I had to do that. But what's cool about this Mossberg 940 is it actually has a corrosive, anti-corrosive coating on the spring, and it also has a drain inside to drain water out that may get in the back of your stock. So we're not gonna worry about that. That's few and far in between that that needs to be done. But heads up, that is something that can cause you problems. Water gets in there, that spring rusts up, or crud gets in there. You may have to take off the, the back end, and then usually it's a bolt that you need a deep socket driver to get to. It's time to get into some substances, chemicals, cleaners. All right, so heads up, normally, I have a garbage can that I like to spray stuff into. One thing I like to get into quickly, depending on how dirty the gun is, you can see there's quite a bit of carbon buildup on this magazine tube. It's not extremely dirty, but there's quite a bit of buildup. Next, I'm gonna look at the piston. It's actually not too bad. I'm really impressed with how well this Mossberg 940 Pro runs, how clean it runs. But if that was extremely dirty, a lot of carbon buildup, what I might think about doing and if you don't have a garbage can, this is a nice place to start. I'm gonna take my shotgun and choke tube cleaner. This is by Shooter's Choice. Works really well, very similar to the MC7. I sort of use them interchangeably. I think you can use either one. I think one of the major differences, the MC7 is maybe a little bit better on copper, 
but we're not dealing with really any copper here. So I'm going with a shotgun choke tube cleaner and I'm just gonna coat this really well. It's got like a foaming action to it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Whoop, and then I'll just drop it in there. Maybe hit it again, right? All contained in that cup. Other things I can do that with that might be a little bit dirtier. The bolt might be a little bit dirtier and you gotta place this somewhere. So it's kind of nice to have a spot just to set it in there. Not gonna be losing pieces. Kind of keeps the spray in one spot. You can douse it. So I got my bolt in there. I could really do that with any of these smaller pieces that get really dirty. But I mean, nothing else has is, is got much for carbon on it. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna get this cleaned up right away. I'm actually just gonna spray this shotgun cleaner on the magazine tube. We might as well get the receiver at the same time. Now with the receiver, I'm just trying to get it fully coated, getting inside the slides and grooves, channels, any nooks and crannies as some people might say. All right, that's gonna rest for a second. Next, let's take a look at this barrel. Yeah, it's dirty. We're gonna pop this choke tube off and all I'm gonna do is run the shotgun cleaner down the barrel, getting it good and heavy. So quite a bit down the barrel, that's good to go. I'm also going to get right in here. This is where the gas comes out of the barrel. I'm going to get that good and heavy, and I've also hit right here. That gets quite a bit of carbon buildup. We're going to let that set. All right, moving right along. If our choke tube's dirty, we can certainly grab that too and just hit that, throw that in our cup. One of the last things I'm going to hit is the trigger group here, being real careful not to knock any of the pins or anything off, but I'll do that over the garbage. Get that good, we'll just let that set in for a second. Okay, coming back here, this has been sitting. I like to use a Scotch-Brite pad if it's really heavy. Let's just first just go through with one of these cleaning rags. An old t-shirt, whatever you use is fine. I get these from Otis, these patches, they work really well. Not quite abrasive enough to really get that carbon fully off, as you can see. That Scotch Bright pad. This is the only place on the shotgun that I really use this Scotch Bright pad on gas guns. Works tremendously. We're done with that. Give it a quick wipe. Now, I am wiping this down. There is another technique that is much easier to get all that cleaner and carbon off, and that is using the Shooter's Choice Quick Scrub. This is one of my favorite products. Absolutely love this stuff. You spray it down and everything runs off. I mean, magazine tube's pretty easy to get, right? Look how it's accessible. Where this quick scrub comes in really handy is inside the chamber where it's hard to get your fingers in there, hard to work it. But look how well that cleaned up. That looks darn near spotless. Other than these threads, moving right along into this chamber. I'm gonna take this nylon brush. This is a lifesaver. Absolutely necessary. I don't care what brand you use. Otis does have them. Link in the description. But I'm just gonna run this nylon brush along the sides, make sure I get in these grooves that the bolt slides on. I wanna make sure there's no buildup in there. I'm gonna get aggressive, hitting all the spots, but I'm still doing it fairly quickly because this cleaner does a really good job. Whether you're using the MC7 or the shotgun cleaner does a really good job of just breaking stuff up. Then we just gotta hit it really quick. Okay, now, this is huge. This used to be where I would then try to get in there with a rag and get all the nooks and crannies and work it. That's baloney, all right? Quick scrub. We're just taking the quick scrub and I'm blasting it out. It's got some good pressure to it. You get a good amount of liquid in there. Everything just rushes out. I may come back with a rag just because it's dripping wet and just hit it real quick, but there's no way I can get in all the grooves, all the slides of this receiver by just using this rag. Pretty much clean, there's not much on this rag. So our receiver, our action, our magazine tube has been cleaned. We will just set that aside for the moment. Barrel, barrel's kind of a bugger, right? There's one piece rods like this. This is a 36 inch one made by Otis. I just got it, I'm excited to use it. The other option is you can go to like these kits. Otis does make a shotgun kit. Inside there is a rod. It's like a, how many pieces is it? Like a five piece, you can put it together. It's more portable, but it has a lot of the pieces you need. If you don't want a big rod like this, or maybe you're traveling, 
This is an option, but I'm gonna stick with the one piece rod today. One other option. You got like a rip cord option, right? But this is deep clean. I love the rip cord for like field, quick cleans. After a day of shooting, pheasant hunting, maybe you're in the Dakotas, just to run this through your barrel, make sure it's cleaned up, ready for the next day. But for deep clean, I'm gonna go more with this rod and I'm gonna screw on a brush. These you can also get from Otis. They come in a lot of the different kits. So we'll just run the brush down the barrel. Give it a little scrub-a-dub-dub. What I like about a rod versus like say a rip cord or a, like a boar snake or anything soft like that is I can really bust out some buildup with this. I can go back and forth. I just ran that a few times. I'm gonna actually try this quick scrub. Let's run this mop down there. We could run some rags down there as well. There's an attachment piece like this that allows you to feed a rag through it and run a rag up and down. But I'm just gonna, I kind of blasted it out with that quick scrub. I think that's gonna get the majority of it. I'm gonna throw on this mop and just see what it looks like with the eye. And my wife says I never mop. Okay, it's certainly not perfect. So I'm gonna take the MC7. I'm gonna give another spray. This foams a little bit better than the shotgun cleaner, I feel like. So I think this will stick. We'll let that set for just a little while longer. We'll handle some of these other pieces real quickly. The bolt that's been sitting there, all I'm gonna do with the bolt is go back to this nylon brush, brushy brush brush, don't have to spend too much time on it, hit it really quick. Okay, second part of the bolt, same deal, just working it over, brushing it, making sure I'm hitting any spots that appear to have buildup, looking good. We'll spray that down with quick scrub here in a second. Oh, look how easy that carbon comes off. What, what little carbon was on this piston is just coming off with the nylon brush. I'm gonna work the inside of it. This is the heartbeat of a gas shotgun. I wanna make sure my gas system is working well. So now I'm gonna take the piston. I'm gonna spray it down, nice and easy. I clean a lot of guns. I don't like spending a ton of time. I enjoy cleaning, but this quick scrub is a lifesaver. I can speak from experience. If you clean over a garbage can, do it on an empty one, not full of like dog hair and all that stuff. Cause when you lose parts, that's a problem. So the bolt is pretty much done. I still have a rag handy just to wipe it down quick. Make sure I got everything looks pretty good. That quick scrub dries rather quick, which I love. Already hit our piston. That's looking good. Sometimes I brush the trigger. There doesn't get to be a lot of buildup on there more so on the lifter. So I might hit that really quick. Maybe the sides, make sure that's clean. But the key with this is that there's a lot of spots I can't get with the rig. I'm gonna blast it out real quick. Oh, that triggers never look so good. Finish it with a quick wipe down. Just, this is like my final check on it. Hey, did I get everything? Just drying it up a little bit so I can see. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. I'm gonna finish this barrel out with the brush. And then I'm gonna take the nylon brush, get inside here, make sure the gas ports are clean really quick, scrub it up. Now I've shot a lot of gas guns. Uh, so far this 940 has impressed me with how clean it actually operates. Back to the quick scrub. We're gonna hit inside those gas ports. I'm gonna hit down the barrel. Go back to this mop, just run it through there one more time. I don't know that I love the mop. It's not quite as tight as I would like to see. A rip cord would be a good one pass through after you've cleaned it out like that. Rip cords are super tight. Otherwise I've done this. This is probably not a recommended technique, but I just put a rag right over the brush. This makes it really tight going down the barrel. It's probably not great for the brush itself. It probably bends the bristles. Little bit of carbon in there yet. We're, we're getting pretty clean. You could always hit it a third time. You can spend quite a bit of time on a barrel if you want to. That looks pretty good to me. I'm happy with it. Let's move right along. Choke tube, just like everything else. Nylon brush, we're gonna hit the outside. There's often, especially on these ported ones, carbon fouling there. Choke tubes are often overlooked. And I do have a technique for cleaning choke tubes that I'll show you in a second. We're just gonna spray this down. That's a quick outside clean. 
But what happens in these shotguns is they often get plastic buildup on the inside, and that is a pain to get off. I'm gonna put the choke tube in, but I'm gonna put a little gun grease in there. This is Shooter's Choice grease. We don't want that choke tube to lock up. If you don't clean your choke tube periodically, re-grease it, it can get frozen into the barrel, and that's a major pain. It's happened to me plenty of times. I know what that's all about. So we got grease on the threads. That should keep that good, but what about the inside? How are we gonna get that clean? Let me show you. Okay, so for the choke tube, I actually would recommend you do this before you do the whole barrel, but we're gonna grab the shotgun cleaner and we're gonna spray it in the choke tube. The reason it'd be ideal to do this before the whole barrel is because now I got a clean barrel and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna be pushing stuff back in there. So just a heads up. But here's how I like to clean the choke tube. I like to attach it to a drill because it's a pain in the butt to clean. I got a brush on the drill. You could attach it to this, like this shotgun cleaning kit has uh, rod pieces, so you don't have to have a huge rod that, rod that you're working in there. But I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start spinning it and just kind of working it back and forth inside that choke tube. Like I've worked on choke tubes by hand for, I mean, you can work 30 minutes and that plastic buildup is just terrible. Makes pretty light work out of it. It's hard on the brush, but yeah, I have a nice clean choke tube in just a few seconds. That's my favorite way to clean choke tube. Okay, now it's time to lubricate this gun. And one of my favorite products is the Otis Dry Lube. Been using this for a long time. When I started using this product, it really decreased how often it was necessary to clean the shotgun. Uh, great performance out of it so far. Really like it. Easy application out of an aerosol because I'm gonna come to this receiver and I'm gonna spray inside, make sure it all gets coated, make sure I get in those channels. That's where this straw comes in handy that it sprays through. We got that, we'll let that set for a second. Other things I'm gonna lubricate, the bolt. Really any metal moving part, I'm gonna make sure is lubricated. Love this dry lube, goes on wet and then it dries. And it's dry to the touch, it's not like a, a wet oil that attracts dust and debris. And I think that's one of the reasons it runs cleaner is it doesn't attract as much carbon fouling, uh, dust, debris, that type of stuff over time. The trigger group, you can use dry lube. Uh, otherwise, oh, I think a wet oil is fine on this too. I, don't, I haven't really noticed the difference between the two, one performing better than the other. Uh, just get some lubrication in there. One last thing I'm gonna lubricate with this dry lube is the end of the barrel. The bolt will actually ride on that. I wanna make sure that's lubricated. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna grab a rag, and I'm gonna look at these parts that I lubricated. Just make sure I don't got an excess anywhere. If I do, I'm just gonna wipe it down a little bit. Too much lubrication can actually be a problem. Too little can actually be a problem as well. We're looking pretty good on all these parts. So now we're gonna start slapping the gun together, but we're not done with the cleaning process. We gotta finalize that all cleaning and lubricating the outside. So let's slap this gun back together. See how fast I can do this 940. Let's go ahead with the trigger group. Boom. Find our pins. What do you do when a pin gives you a little trouble? Grab your wood block, pop it back in. The bolt is going in the gun. One thing I love about the 940 is that the bolt has a tail on it. And I notice in a lot of guns, it's hard to line that tail up to get it actually to go into the back of the receiver. The 940 really doesn't give me too much trouble. Pop the bolt handle in. Your gun may or may not have a piece like that. Spring. Pusher. With the piston, I think there's different trains of thought on this. I feel like it's a moving metal piece. I would like to have some lubrication. I definitely don't want wet lubrication. Uh, the, about the only thing I would use on this is a dry lube. Love to hear your thoughts on that. Lubricating the piston, because that is moving back and forth inside there. I got one more product that is a lifesaver for me. It's the Otis 085 Firearm Wipes. This is a product that I use in quick cleanings, wipe downs, you know, when I'm doing videos, handling guns, whatever, and I just want to do a quick wipe down uh, after live exhibitions. But before I put that forend on, I'm going to hit the spots here. This is a CLP, this is a clean lubricate and protect product. So I'm kind of hitting these spots that that forearm is gonna go over, making sure that they are well taken care of. Then we're gonna go on with the forearm and the cap. 
Now I'm gonna take this wipe and I'm gonna hit all the exterior with it. Generally don't use like a dry lube or anything on this exterior. I like this CLP product, the Clean Lubricate Protect. Kinda hits everything at once. All the metal pieces for sure, but it's uh, no harm on the furniture either. We made pretty quick, easy work of cleaning up this Mossberg 940 Pro. Gas guns are awesome because they have light recoil, because they operate on a gas system, but they tend to get a little bit dirtier. So we gotta take care of those guns. That is my method. I would love to hear what has worked well for you. I'm not saying I have the one and only and true way to clean a shotgun, but thousands of cleanings, this is a technique that I have found works well for me. One thing I love about gloves is that we're all done cleaning. I can throw them in, I'm ready for lunch. I don't even gotta wash my hands. Okay, I probably should wash my hands. Appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, let me know. You can comment down below, but the best way to engage with me is actually through the TFL community. There's a link down below to join. It is free. And remember, whether you're in the field or in life or in the shop cleaning your shotgun, you're only gonna hit those shots you're laser focused on. So live target focus. See ya.